lots of boxes to open up today with all of you. Oh man, I uh, have not run yet today. I'm gonna get that weekly massage and uh, I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. I'm still getting used to this new car and the fact that I can unlock it with a little button. Crazy, crazy technology, it's amazing. There it is, there it is. Okay, I just had a message show up on my watch. Pinpoint weather, uh, lightning detected uh, two miles from my location. So uh, anyway, back from the 10 miles and I had to pick up the pace the last five miles because of the lightning. And let me just raise this camera up a little bit. Uh, so I wanted to go eight minutes a mile today. Definitely recover from the last two days back to back of 20 miles um, on both days, but ended up at about 745, so that's okay. Uh, anyway, you gotta, gotta stay safe from that lightning. Okay, you can see behind me the boxes. I'm gonna open up those in, with all of you uh, once I get back from my massage therapist. And, uh, and she is on it, she is on, uh, she is keeping me accountable to stretching. Uh, you know, like I, I'm getting better, but I know I just, I, you have to put in the time. In fact, that's what I wrote. Where is it? That's what I wrote on Strava today. I said, marathon training, or there's no shortcuts in marathon training. And I don't even necessarily mean putting in two and a half, three hour long runs consistently. I'm talking about the little stuff, the stretching, the massage, the nutrition, all that little stuff that adds up to keep us healthy. So that's what I'm up to now. And yes, actually, I'll just take the camera off. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot to mention YouTube family. My first run in the Mizuno Wave Rider 23. Uh, cool. <laughs> Such a different shoe from New Balance, Saucony, Nike. Just a, it's just different but not in a bad way. I really, I, I've got my first impression thoughts. It's, it's just different. There's no other way to say it, but it was, a fu it was fun. It was really fun. Uh, my legs were a little tired today, so I didn't, I didn't get to fully, I would say, um, experience what they are capable of. But anyway, Mizuno Wave Rider 23, first impressions coming very soon on those guys. Wow, ah, jeez. It be, such a different shoe than what I'm used to. So, oh man. All right, taking, ah, there it is. Okay. Okay, can you see the YouTube family? Here we are. So I have different piles of shoes that, that mean different things. So let's start, uh, let's start over here actually with the Solomon XA Alpine Pros. I did one run in these shoes, didn't like them. I will not give you my full review of the Solomon XA Alpine Pros, just so you know. Uh, let's see, okay, then we're gonna move to this front row here. Uh, it is all trail shoes. So I have, these are all shoes that I've given first impressions of, the Ultra Temp 1.5s, Solomon, or sorry, Saucony Mad River TRs, the Solomon Supercrosses, and then the Salming Trail 5s. I've, did, I've basically taken all of these shoes between 20 and 40 miles, but I haven't gotten to 50 miles yet. So I will get you full review, definitely for the, the Mad River TRs, I think the Supercrosses, and I think the, uh, the Trail 5s from Salming. I don't know if I'll get to 50 miles in the Ultra Temp 1.5s, but just stay tuned, you never know. And let's move to, so these were the shoes that I wore today, the Mizuno Wave Rider 23s. Need to get you a first impression for those. Let me set these down here. And then I'll just slide these three pairs to the middle. So these three shoes I need to do a first impression run in. The Hoka Carbon Xs, which I fully realize I'm late to the game. A lot of you are asking about this shoe, if it's gonna be my Amsterdam Marathon shoe. I can't give you an answer because look at that. I haven't even taken the cardboard out yet. So I need to test those out for all of you. The Ultra Escalantes, are these just the, I actually don't even know. Well, I'm just gonna say the Ultra Escalantes I have not worn yet. And then yes, another Mizuno shoe, the Mizuno Wave Shadow 3 is another shoe I need to test. And then in the back row, not sure if you can see those, but these are the three, three shoes that I need to give you my full review on. 
the Solomon uh, S Lab Sense 7 SGs, what I wore at the Pikes Peak Ascent, uh, a trail racing shoe, the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. These are ready for a full review, and uh, I, should I should have already said this, uh, I, I always take shoes past 50 miles for my full reviews, so these are ready. And then, this, this happened real quick, was the Speed Goat, uh, sorry, the, the Hoka Evo Speed Goat shoe uh, needs a full review as well. So uh, I just wanted to give you an overview as far as where we stand with different shoes that I'm testing, and it just was busy with Pikes Peak, so thank you for your patience. Okay, shall we open some boxes? Shall we open some boxes? Let's do this right now for all of you. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. I, got, I went and got the knife out of the studio, and yes, I almost forgot. I have not forgotten about the Nike Next Percents, uh, the bright green, there they are. When I tell you on Instagram and Twitter, when you're asking, do I know what shoe I'm racing in for Amsterdam, I really don't know. I, I, it could be the Carbon X's, it could be these guys. Frankly, it could be the uh, Vaporfly 4% Flyknit. I love the Flyknit upper, so I really don't know. But if you want to see my first impression of the Next Percents, you can go check it out, upper right-hand corner on that card. Okay, and all these boxes I'm about to open, I'm not endorsing these companies, okay, or the products that are in these boxes. And frankly, I don't even know what is in all of these. Uh, so I want to make that clear up front. I haven't tested them, of course, because they're still in the box. So I'm not endorsing them, but I want to open them with all of you. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll just put them through the paces like the, uh, oh my goodness, what is the, well, uh, I won't get into that. The apparel that arrived uh, the other day, it's treating me very well. Okay, here we go. So this package says on the back, the most comfortable sock on earth. Oh my goodness. This is from Stride Line. Okay, out of Kentucky. Interesting. So let's just see what's in here. Oh, no, no. oh my my. Whoa. So this company is a, looks like a, a, running sh a running sock company called Stride Line. I don't know if you can see that there. Wow, interesting. So they, these are, I'm just feeling them right now, feel very thick almost like a fall or winter running sock. Moving on here to, I think I might open that in a minute. What is in this guy? Okay, so this says, well, I'll just open it for with all of you. Let's see, da 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 da, all right. Oh my my, what could be in here? Uh -huh -huh -huh. Da 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 da, okay, what's in the, oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, let's just, oh, look at that. Okay, first of all, do you all know what this is? Hold on, this is a new running vest. Okay, this is amazing, from Raid Light. The updated, major, major update from Raid Light. Remember that vest I use all the time to carry the drone, carry the water, carry the GoPro, is from Raid Light. Raid Light is a company out of France. So here is a new, look at that, oh my goodness. This is, okay, I'm not even gonna get into it because it's such a huge, Huge update from my old Raid Light vest. So that's from Raid Light out of France. And then I have never seen a shoe from Raid Light. Let's do this. This is crazy. I've never actually, not even in a running shoe store, I've never held one in my own hands. Have I even seen one on, on the intro webs? I don't think I have. All right. One, two, three. Oh my. Blue and black from Raid Light. Okay. I honestly, okay. I knew that Raid Light made running shoes, but I once again have never seen one before. Oh, wow. Okay. This is pretty cool. A new trail running shoe from Raid Light. Once again, they are out of France. Thank you Raid Light for sending these. These look inter interesting. I don't even know what to say because I've never held one before. All right. Well, I will give it a shot. All right, there we go. Raid Light running shoe. Okay, moving on. Let's check out this box real quick here. This, I really, I don't, I really don't know what's in this one. All right, hold on. And again, I'm not endorsing Raid Light. I'm not endorsing Stride Line. Uh, like for example, I love Smart Wool socks. I don't know Stride Line. I've never tried them before. So I will keep you up to date. What is going on in here? Oh, um, what? <laughs> is this for me? Hmm. Okay. So I don't know what's going on here, but I appreciate it anyway. So let's just open it up. Um, again, this is a little interesting. All right. Are you ready for this? Boom. Oh, two pairs of shoes, both from Innovate, the Terra Ultra G260 and the Mudclaw G260. 
The only thing is, I think I have these shoes. I know I have the mud cloth. So anyway, thank you, Innovate. Innovate is out of um, England, North West England, I do believe. I, I, I can never nail down the location. Spelled I-N-O-V-8. Check them out. I love them. Um, I, I have the mud claw. They make really, really tough, durable trail shoes, especially because they, they are designed for running in the fell country in England or Great Britain, whatever you want to say. So anyway, thank you, Innovate, for these shoes. Um, I don't know what to say because I might have these, but we will we will figure that out. All right, that's amazing. Okay, moving on to the next box here. Let's go with over here. So this actually just arrived today. Again, let's just see. I So this company, it looks like is uh, Unived. Oh, Unived, wait a minute. Unived is um, Hayden Hawks. You know Hayden Hawks, the ultra runner um, who just ran at UTMB? I think he is sponsored by Unived. Interesting. All right, let's just see here. What is in, whoa. Oh, <laughs> okay. Whoa, okay. Oh my goodness. So this is like drink mix. This is, um, whoa. Okay, so this is, these are, oh, wow. All right, so we're talking gels. Oh, wow, look at that. Um, a two to one carbohydrate ratio, Choco Fudge. You know how much I love chocolate, that's amazing. So again, this is Unived. I have not tested them yet. Don't go out and buy it yet. I will put them through the paces and figure it out for all of you. Uh, let's just see what else, one other thing is in here. More gels, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, well this is exciting. Thank you, Unived, you're amazing. Um, and everyone, I'm just gonna figure it out for you. This is why I love not having a, an official sponsor because I, there's, I couldn't do this if I was sponsored by a company that said you have to only use our products. Like that wouldn't, that wouldn't be fun for anybody here on YouTube. So this is exciting. For example, I have um, Noon, is that how you say it? N-U-U-N. Uh, on the way, an electrolyte mix for the marathon training block. So that's coming to my house. I thought it would arrive today, but it didn't arrive yet. So Unived, an endurance fuel, 4-1 carbohydrate to protein ratio. Oh my, my creamy vanilla. That's amazing. Okay, moving on to the next box. Once again, thank you, Unived. Last box from Running Warehouse. This is definitely a pair of running shoes. And I think I know what's in here, but I'm not positive um, on this, uh-huh. Uh-huh, oh man, all right, last box, ready, boom. Oh, didn't come out, there it is. Oh yeah. All right, and here's the deal with this box. I have started a tradition, a personal tradition, of doing once a year, just once a year, a one mile time trial for myself, okay? Just to see how I'm aging, all right? And how the turnover in the legs is remaining or disappearing, all right? Does that make sense? So that might give away what is in this box. You better believe it. One two and three there they are the new balance 5280s oh my this is supposedly the new and best thing from in the road racing world especially for the mile and i've even heard for the 5k that's the rumor on the street we shall see let's take out this cardboard here or sorry this uh paper oh my oh my goodness Whoa. All right, this looks and feels like a track spike, but it's made for the roads. It's got a nice, good uh, midsole cushion. So I will do a one mile time trial very, very soon in these New Balance 5280s for you. This is crazy. All right, that is it for today. Keyword is gear, because we just opened up a bunch of gear. Thank you again to Unived, to Strideline, to Raid Light, to New Balance, and to all of you for being here, and to Innovate. I appreciate you too, appreciate you too. All right, and I'm back. I just had to pause the video for a second and think about a good, solid question of the day. And I like this one a lot because it allows us to dream and to pursue dreams because, um, I don't know, isn't that what life is kind of about? Is like shooting for, setting a goal, putting a plan in place, executing that plan, and then going and chasing down dreams. I mean, frankly, you're allowing me to do that here on YouTube. Like all of you out there just coming and watching every single day is, uh, is opening up a lot of opportunities. So I can't thank you enough for just taking the time to watch these daily vlogs, um, but 
I think it's fun to dream, and I think you all should dream. And whatever stage in life you are in, the question of the day is this. If you could choose any running brand, it could be a shoe company, it could be another type of company, like a, like a gel company or anything, any running brand that you could choose to run for and represent, and you'd be proud to represent that company, what company would it be and why? This is gonna be a great comment section today. Like think about all the shoe companies, all the sock companies, all the outerwear, all the gels, and, the, and even in the, ultra, in the ultra running world, all the vests out there. Oh my goodness, so this is gonna be fun. Think about what company would you be proud to represent. I actually, I'll think about it as well, and I will type down below for all of you. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll do a couple vlogs on the right and the left, both of them some unboxing vlogs from the past six to nine months, six to nine months. Does that sound good? All right, thanks for being here, thanks for watching. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.